guys and welcome back so in the previous video we managed to create our date converter and connect it, it to our database so in this video here we are going to create our repository that is going to help us to connect between the data layer and the ui layer so for this case we can easily access our database so right now we can navigate here inside our ui package and create a new package so we can just create here a new package and call it this going to be a repository and inside here now let's create a new cotton class of file and we can just call this repository okay so here we have our class which is going to be a repository and inside here we want to access all of the DAOs so we can just create here a private val and call this for example list DAO Okay, so now we have access to all of our DAOs. Now we can easily create methods and properties which we can easily access them. So for example, here we want to get all of the stores. So we can just create here a variable and call this, for example, store. And we can easily call our store DAO. And we call get all stores. And basically here we have now all of our store. Now we can get, for example, the items with, uh, with the list and store. So for example, we can just call this get items okay now we want to create the function which is going to get us the items with a store and list filtered by the id okay now let's create here a function and we can just call this function for example to get items with a store and list with the store and list and basically here we want to pass in the id so that we can easily filter these items so this is going to be of type int and here we are going to call the list DAO. and basically we want to get the items with id filtered by the item id so let's keep this in the next line for readability and basically here now we want to pass in the id which is going to help us to filter this okay now let's create here another function and now we want to get the item with a store filtered by the id so whenever we want to filter our database so for example when we select a certain category we can easily use this method so we can just call here get item and this is going to be filtered by the id and basically here now we want to pass in the id which is going to be of type int And we want to call here the get items filtered by id and here basically we can easily pass in the id okay now here we have our methods which are going to give us our data now let's create here the suspend functions which is going to help us to insert so let's create here a suspend function and call this insert list and now we want to pass in here the shopping list and basically we can just call here our list DAO. And we want to insert our shopping list. And basically we can just pass in here our shopping list. Okay, now let's insert here for example the store. And we can call here our store DAO. Now let's create here a suspend function and insert here for example our item and we can pass in here the item and basically we can call here our item DAO dot insert and pass in here our item okay now here we want for example to delete an item so we can easily create here a suspend function and call this delete item and basically here we want for example to pass in the item which we have and we're going to delete it so for example here we can just call here our item DAO and pass in the item which we want to delete and basically we leave everything to room to handle this let's create another suspend function we want to update the item so we can just call here update item okay so these are all of the methods which we are going to use them in our case for now 
so if you want to to update or continue this application you can just easily play around and add other methods so for now here we have all of these methods which we are going to use them so here we have a method that is going to return us the store we have the items with list and store and whenever we want to filter our databases we are going to use these methods here to help us to filter this database we want to be able to insert this list DAO here so we have already created for example here our DAOs but we cannot easily just create this and pass them inside our view model for example so we have to create a cleaner way which we can easily manage this dependency so for example if you are using another project you can use the dependency injection library but for our case this is just a small tutorial we can just easily inject them manually but we can just use this by using a singleton option so how can we do this we can easily create here a new coding class or file and here basically we can just create an object select here an object which is going to help us to create single tone or a single instance of the databases which we can easily use them inside our application so for this case here we can just call this to be a graph and now we have here our object now we can create a let init variable for the database so let's create here let init variable and call this database and we can just pass in here our shopping list database so we want to have only a single uh, instance of this database throughout our application that's why we are using here an object and for this case we want to make this to be a private set so we cannot set this uh, outside of this class that's why we are passing here a private set and now we want to create our repository also so we can just create here a repository and we can use by lazy so we want to we don't want to be able to initialize this every time now and then and now as you can see here we have our lazy and now let's create here a repository and now when we want to pass in here for example the rest DAO, we can just easily pass in here our database.dao Okay, so this is how you manage a dependence when you don't want to use a dependence library. And for case here, now we want to create a method that is going to provide the, the database because here we have not initialized this. We have just created a variable so that we can easily use this inside our repository. And for this case here, now we can just call provide. And we want to pass in here a context, which is going to help us to create our database. So let's pass in here context. And now let's create here our database and call here our shopping database. And we call dot get database. And basically we have to pass in here the context. Okay, so this method here is required to be called so that we can pass in the context. And how can we do this? So we have to create a function or we have to do it inside our main uh, on create method. And to do this, we have to create an Android application file. So we can just easily come here and create a new coding class or file. And we want to select here a class and we want to call this for example jet shopping okay so inside here we can just come inside the on create method here now we want to use our graph dot provide and here basically we have to pass in the context and call this and basically here now we have provided the context so whenever our application is going to be created then we are going to call this method here and now we have to jump inside here our android manifest here and basically inside here we have to register this new application which we have created so we can pass in here the android.name and it's going to recognize this dot shopping application and for this case we are going to solve the problem where the we have to pass in here the context inside our graph and basically we can just easily use this repository and the database because they are going to be initialized in a singleton option so for now here we have to finish up our UI by creating our UI layer. So guys for this video let's leave it here. So in the next video we're going to finish up our UI and see how we can easily hook up everything. So see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.